was unbelievable. I mean, watching the stuff come into the water was like red worms. 71% of the Earth is covered in water, so you would expect that humans leave a couple of things underwater over time. Although not everything that gets forgotten underwater is due to our constant carelessness, some may have been due to natural disasters, rising water level, and other weather conditions. Here are 20 most bizarre discoveries found in drained water. Number 20. Canal of St. Martin in France. Humans like to leave souvenirs everywhere, and this becomes more evident every time the Canal of St. Martin in Paris is drained for cleaning. The content of this canal bears no semblance to the romanticized image Hollywood paints of Paris, as its draining reveals a disgusting array of bizarre objects. These objects range from weird ones to mysterious ones, objects that could probably solve a murder case or just simple household items someone's mom is probably still looking for. Every 10 to 15 years, this canal is drained so it can be cleaned, which reveals the many treasures buried under the water. Apart from an abundance of wine and beer bottles, other objects that have been found under the canal include washing machines, a drone, a couple of scooters, a wheelchair. There's definitely a story behind that one. It's like a treasure hunter's wildest dream. That's if you're more into trash than treasure. One of the most interesting finds was in the 2001 draining. Two World War I shells were found at the bottom of the canal, leaving many to wonder how they got there. The cleaning of the canal takes a couple of months and costs 9.5 to 10 million euros, after which humans start dumping trash in it again. Number 19. A message from the ancestors. While we have not yet perfected time travel so we can communicate with the ancestors, they have apparently left us a message. During the summer of 2022, many European cities experienced extreme heat waves which led to a record-level drought that made it the worst year in 500 years. This intense drought reduced many rivers and lakes to dangerously low levels. As the water level reduced, it revealed these ancient monuments called hunger stones, with strange carvings on them, warning us of terrible times to come. One famous example is the hunger stone in the Elba River in Czech Republic, which has the oldest readable carving of any hunger stone, dating back to the year 1616. This strange carving was translated, If You See Me Cry, a terrifying message which serves as both a reminder and a warning to us, a premonition of something imminent. Now let me explain. These hunger stones were embedded into the dried up riverbeds in times of drought and intense famine in the past, so as to mark the water level, serving as a warning to those who see it in the future, that there is so much drought-related trouble coming. Hunger stones are found all over Europe, and they remind us how bad things can get when we push Mother Nature too far. Number 18. An Old Mexican Church In 2015, the Mexican state of Chiapas experienced such a devastating drought that the water level of the Netzahualcoyotl Reservoir dropped by up to 80 feet. Can you imagine a body of water dropping by 80 feet? This drastic drop revealed an ancient Mexican church that had previously been submerged underwater. The church, which was known as the Temple of Santiago or the Temple of Quechua, has been submerged under 100 feet of water since 9066, since it was flooded after the construction of the dam. It only reappeared once in 2002, although it wasn't fully accessible at the time. The 48-feet structure towers above the area was built in the year 1564 by a group of monks led by Friar Bartolomé de la Casas, with the hopes that the area would be a booming population center. But it wasn't meant to be, as the church became abandoned when the plague hit the area in 1773 and 1776. In 2015, however, the water level was so low that the entire structure could be seen, and it quickly became a tourist attraction. Many people came to the church to celebrate, feast, hang out, and some even came to pray. With the recent lack of rain, though, the church might remain a feature on the landscape for a while. Number 17. Dinosaur Tracks Millions of years ago, dinosaurs roamed the Earth, and if Jurassic Park didn't convince you of their existence, this one should. In the summer of 2022, intense drought swept through the city of Texas, devastating the water bodies for over six months, causing the river of the Dinosaur Valley National Park to dry up. This led to an amazing archaeological discovery. 
a 113-million-year-old footprint of dinosaurs from the species Acrocanthosaurus and Sauroposeidon. These dinosaurs are said to have been 15 and 16 feet tall, and their massive fossilized footprints were well-preserved in limestone under the water, which protected it from wear and tear that would have affected the integrity of these archaeological finds. Out of the many footprints that were found, 140 were said to have belonged to an individual Acrocanthosaurus, 60 of which were visible when the water receded, which earned it the name Lone Ranger Trackway. While this drought led to the revelation of this archaeological breakthrough, which is awesome and all, the devastating effects are so much worse. So much so that the 2022 drought was regarded as the worst drought to have hit the United States in a really long time. So you're probably going to hear about it a couple more times before the end of this video. Number 16. Mysterious Island in the Yangtze River Back in 2017, in Jiangxi province of East China, Locals were amazed when an island bearing three statues emerged from the Yangtze River in the southwestern city of Chongqing. These statues are said to have been up to 600 years old and have been submerged for decades, reappearing only due to an hydropower gate renovation project in the Hongmen Reservoir, unusually low rainfall and heat waves. One of the three statues said to have been built during the Ming Dynasty, a Buddhist monk sitting on a lotus pedestal. The emergence of the island attracted many spectators, especially the locals, who had no clue something so interesting was buried within the waters. However, many experts claim that we know very little about this structure, as they observed what looked like walls of a temple at the base of the island, leading to speculations that a massive structure must still be hidden underwater. The island has since been submerged, only re-emerging briefly in 2020. Number 15. Sant Roma de Sao the abandoned village of Sant Roma de Sao, in the municipality of Villanova de Sao, Catalonia, Spain, is another intriguing structure now submerged in the Sao Reservoir. Consecrated in the year 1062, the Church of Sant Roma de Sao is now the only standing structure in the village, which was abandoned in the 9060s due to development in the area. This is how the story goes. In the 9060s, the Catalonian government, after exploring the waters of the Grilleries Mountain, decided that the Sao Valley was an ideal location for a reservoir. This definitely wouldn't have pleased the locals, as building a reservoir often meant total decimation for any infrastructure in the way of the water, but it was a sacrifice they had to pay for the greater good. The inhabitants of the small village were relocated to a newly built town nearby called Villanova de Sao taking all their families, valuables, and even exhuming their dead, along with memories of what their hometown used to be, leaving only a skeleton of the town, these locals headed for a new land, paying the price for modernization. Construction work on the reservoir started in 9041 and was completed in 9062. At its completion, the entire village was flooded with water as predicted, including the 100-year-old church, Sometimes, though, in the dry seasons when the water recedes, the church re-emerges and can easily be accessed on foot. However, when the water levels are normal, only the pointed spire of the church can be seen, and only the pointy end is visible when the reservoir is at a high level. On one of the many occasions when the church had re-emerged, the remains were reinforced with concrete, and a fence was erected around it to keep visitors out. Along with the church, some other noticeable structures that appear when the water level recedes include foundations of other buildings and an empty cemetery. Number 14. Spanish Stonehenge Among many things that were unearthed by the drought that raged through Europe in 2022, a strange structure that's referred to as the Spanish Stonehenge appeared in Caceres, Spain. Officially known as Dolmen of Guadalperal, this doppelganger of the Stonehenge consists of dozens of megalithic stones arranged in a pattern and is said to date back to 5000 BC. This bizarre structure came to light as the water levels of the Valdecanas Reservoir dropped to 28% of its capacity, a very devastating drop that affected the farms around the area and even the overall water supply. The site was first discovered in 9026 during an excavation expedition by a team of archaeologists led by German archaeologist Hugo Obermeier, but it was flooded in 9063 due to a rural development project. 
When it emerged in 2022, archaeologists raced to the site to study it before it got submerged again, as it had only been visible four times since 1963. The site has since been submerged underwater as water level increased, and archaeologists wonder when it might resurface again, which may probably not be a long time, with the rate at which climate change is dealing a heavy blow on the planet. Number 13. Ancient Ming Dynasty Bridge We are back in China again, and this time we'll take a look at an ancient bridge that has been submerged under the Poyang Lake for 400 years. Measuring up to 2,500 feet in length, and dating back to the year 1631. This impressive piece of ancient engineering is also known as the Thousand Eye Bridge because it has 1,100 dotted holes along its length. It was said to have been built during the reign of the last emperor to rule the Ming Dynasty in order to serve as a key link between the large towns and the small fishing villages. Once regarded as China's longest lake bridge, this bridge, which had previously been concealed by the Poyang Lake, resurfaced due to extreme drought, low rainfall, and reduction in the water level of the Yangtze River, which caused the water level of the lake to reduce. In 2016, the local authorities budgeted a total of 900,000 won, which is about 127,000, and 76 dollars for the bridge's restoration, as it was a famous historical and cultural artifact. Number 12. The Lost City of Zaki Kuan. Due to intense drought, Iraq's most important water storage location in the country, the Mosul Dam Reservoir, located along the Tigris River, had to be drained to water crops in order to save them from dying. The reduction of the water level led to the discovery of Zaki Kuan, a Bronze Age city, which had previously been submerged under the water for many, many years. This extensive city, which featured a palace and several large buildings, is believed to have been an important part of the Mitanni Empire, which existed between 1550 to 1350 BC. The emergence caused such a stir among archaeologists, who scrambled to study the city before it gets submerged again. Within a short time, the area had been successfully mapped, and archaeologists were surprised that the city was so well preserved even though the walls were made of mud bricks and had been underwater for a very long time. Out of the many treasures that were unearthed at the site, five ceramic vessels containing an archive of over 100 clay tablets were of particular interest. Interestingly enough, some of these clay tablets, which scientists believe must be letters, were still in their clay envelopes at the time of this discovery. The city is now fully submerged underwater, and scientists say it is completely unpredictable when it will resurface again. Number 11. Hiram Reservoir Graveyard the Hiram Reservoir in Utah in the United States is a hub for treasure, a strange type of treasure, the type that makes you wonder, what exactly were these people thinking? Apparently back in the 1950s, someone thought it was a good idea to place a bunch of cars at the north shore of the Hiram Reservoir to strengthen the shoreline. Surprisingly though, it seemed to work, as the same process was replicated in the Blacksmith Fork River. This weird engineering method came to light when the water levels reduced, revealing what looked like a car graveyard. Dozens of 1950s-era cars littered the bottom of the reservoir, stripped to the skeleton by time. Why was this a bad idea, you ask? Because these cars released many chemicals into the water as they disintegrated, chemicals that could hurt marine life and destroy their ecosystem. In 2013, 80 cars were removed from the reservoir, a restoration process that cost around $10 million, which was a fitting price to pay for causing such damage to the environment. Number 10. 2,000-year-old military base under the Lima River. Here's another site discovered courtesy of the 2022 intense drought. Remember I said we were going to be talking a lot about this drought, so you'll still probably hear about it once or twice more before the end of this video. This time we're in Spain, where a military base, estimated to have been constructed in 75 AD, has resurfaced due to decline in the water level, caused by intense drought. The site, known as Aquis Quiquens, is believed to have housed up to 600 Roman soldiers in its glory days, and included other infrastructure such as hospitals, a temple, two granaries, and many barracks. It's a military base after all. As Europe struggled with the intense heat and low rainfall, the Conca's reservoir reduced to 49 of its usual capacity, revealing this large expanse of archaeological fantasy. 
However, the military base is said to have been abandoned decades after it was constructed, way before it became flooded. Number 9. Nero's Bridge The Roman Emperor Nero is believed to be one of the most famous emperors to have reigned in ancient Rome, and he loved building things in his name, much more than he loved fighting wars or tending to the affairs of the empire. So, it shouldn't be a surprise that one of his many infrastructures made this list. In 2022, Italy experienced the worst drought in 70 years, which reduced the water level of Tiber River in Rome by five feet. As the water level declined, the piers of Ponce Neronian U.S. or Nero's Bridge reappeared, though it is usually submerged underwater. Although a lot of people argue that the bridge had been built before Nero became emperor, historians still believe he might have built it, as the bridge provided easy access to many of his luxurious facilities. The emperor is regarded as one of the worst emperors to have reigned in Rome, engaging more in frivolities than he took care of business. He also had a reputation of being a very wicked ruler, for example. He was said to have executed the Christians who were accused of causing the Great Fire of Rome of 64 AD to entertain the people of Rome after the fire. He also allegedly poisoned his own mother and executed a whole bunch of people who didn't agree with him or his style of leadership. Eventually, Nero ended his own life at the age of 30, after he was declared an enemy of the state by the Roman Senate. Number 8. Nazi Warships Around 20 Nazi warships that have been submerged underwater after being deliberately sunk during World War II have recently re-emerged along the Danube River in Serbia. These are the few remains from the over 400 warships from the German warships that were intentionally scuttled at the orders of its commander, Rear Admiral Paul Willy Zeid. Zeid was leading a retreating convoy of warships as they tried to escape from the Soviet military, who were advancing through Romania in 1944. However, they came under heavy fire, and as a way of trying to slow the enemy down, the warships were intentionally sunk in a zigzag pattern. Unfortunately for him, though, this didn't work, as the Soviet troops quickly gained on them, leading to a heavy defeat on the German side. As the water level of the Danube River reduced, the warships arose from the grave once again, some still containing explosive, heavy artillery and many other dangerous stuffs. This, alongside the fact that they were sticking out of the river, put fishermen and other residents at risk as they tried to man oeuvre around the exposed ruins so they could go about their daily business. Efforts are underway to safely remove the warship's ruins. Number 7. World War II. Bomb in the River Po. Another victim of the historical drought of 2022, the River Po revealed an interesting find as the water level dropped drastically. A 1,000-pound unexploded World War II bomb was found on the bank of the river by a local fisherman who quickly alerted the authorities. The airspace of the area was immediately shut down, along with the river traffic. About 3,000 residents of the nearby Borgo Virgilio village were also evacuated, as bomb disposal experts worked to safely move the bomb 30 miles away, where a controlled explosion was carried out. The bomb which was said to have contained 520 pounds of explosives, raised many questions as to how it got there. Number 6. A 1,500-year-old sword. In 2018, archaeologists were excited by the discovery of an ancient sword, which was believed to have belonged to the pre-Viking era. Saga Vanacek, the lucky girl who found the sword, was said to have been playing in the lake when she pulled out what looked like a stick. She had previously wanted to throw it away, but upon further inspection, found out it looked like a sword. So she turned it over to her dad, who didn't really have any clue as to whose sword it was or which era it was from, as he was not an archaeologist. It was only after he had asked a friend to take a look at it that he discovered it was an ancient relic, long lost in the water. The sword was initially thought to have been 1,000 years old, but upon further study, it turned out to be 1,500 years old. It is now being displayed at the Swedish Museum in Jönköping County, with authorities now combing the lake for more archaeological discoveries. Now, it's time for today's subscriber's pick. As the water level of the Euphrates reduces significantly, the longest river in Asia has revealed a mysterious structure. A man recently uploaded a video showing the extent of the decline of the water level, 
which had revealed an ancient tunnel that he claimed leads to a perfectly preserved underground structure. Not much is known about this video, as no other evidence has been released to corroborate his claims. Could this mysterious tunnel lead to an archaeological discovery that will shake the world? Let us know your thoughts. Number 5. The Gowanus Canal With a reputation of being one of the dirtiest bodies of water in the United States, you can be sure that the Gowanus Canal contains a couple of bizarre discoveries. This 100-foot-wide, 1.8-mile-long canal is situated in the New York City borough of Brooklyn, Kings County, New York. It is filled with so many mysterious objects, so much so that an entire museum called the Hall of the Gowanus was founded to document and display the array of weird and bizarre objects found in it during cleanup. Some objects that have been found include a World War II-era boat and large wooden textile spools from the 1900s. Although serene on the outside, this canal is very toxic, containing more than a dozen contaminants. To crown it all, Officials have detected amounts of heavy metals that are 60 times higher than healthy exposure levels at the bottom, with necessary cleanup costing a whopping $500 million. Number 4. Mystery Plane Found in California Lake In 2021, a sonar image of a Piper Comanche 250 airplane was taken in Folsom Lake in California. The plane, which authorities have been searching for since 1965, was said to be carrying four people, before it crashed mid-air on New Year's Day. At the time, only the pilot's body was discovered, and the plane along with the three other bodies remained missing ever since. However, due to extreme reduction in the water level of the Folsom Lake, seafloor systems were able to take a sonar image of a plane believed to be the missing plane. Officials claim the picture matched the missing plane's tail and propeller, and although the plane hasn't been recovered from the water, this amazing discovery brought officials one step closer to solving this decades-long mystery. Number 3. The Mystery of the Skeleton Lake Rupkund Lake, also known as Skeleton Lake, is a glacial lake situated high up in the Himalayas. With a name like that, you'd expect the lake to hold bizarre secrets, which it does. Back in 1942, an Indian forest official by the name H.K. Madwal discovered bodies, hundreds of them stockpiled in and around the lake. A very chilling sight, if you ask me. This discovery begs the question as to what so many people were doing in the middle of nowhere, who they were and where they were going. To make a bad situation worse, all the skeletons seemed to have died due to a heavy blow to the head. Was this a mass murder? A supernatural occurrence? Or was there a logical explanation to the mystery of this lake? These questions and many more baffled many archaeologists when the find was made public in 1950, and researchers set to work trying to identify the skeletons. Upon careful observation, it was discovered that the bodies consisted of two groups of people, locals and strangers. Many conspiracy theories arose from the site, including some claiming the local deity was mad at strangers constantly walking on her land and rained down hail on them while they were walking through the valley. This explanation, however, isn't too far from the truth, as it was later discovered that these hundreds of people were victims of a natural disaster. A hailstorm had caught up with them while they were going through the valley, and in such an open landscape, there was nowhere to hide, so they all just died and their remains were preserved in the ice-cold lake. Even though the mystery has been solved, the aura of the disaster still pervades the environment. Number 2. Buddhist Temple in Thailand Back in 2019, thousands of curious folks flocked to see a 13-feet-tall headless Buddha statue, which had previously been submerged underwater for 20 years. The long-lost temple, which used to be a popular meeting place and a place of worship, had been underwater since 1999 when a dam was constructed in the area. Some of the spectators were locals who hadn't seen the statue since their childhood. Others came to pray, meditate, and even a couple of Buddhist monks showed up. The statue was decorated with flowers, and prayers were offered to it. Although the temple had previously been partially revealed in 2015, Extreme drought in 2019 reduced the waters that covered the temple to just 3% of its normal capacity, which brought the site fully back to light. Number 1. Lake Mead Last on our list is Lake Mead, 
and the numerous bizarre objects that are buried underneath. The lake, situated on the Colorado River, is the largest reservoir in the United States, supplying water to over 25 million Americans across seven states. In recent times, the water level of this man-made lake has dropped significantly, revealing some of the strangest content of any body of water on this list. Some objects found at the bottom of this massive lake include a barrel, which contained a body authorities believe may have been dumped in the river since the late 1970s or the early 1980s. The body was determined to be a murder victim, as it had a gunshot wound, and many speculate it was probably a mob killing. Several other human remains and skeletons were found at the bottom of Lake Mead, many of which have not been identified. Other items include boats, a World War II-era landing craft, several beer cans, baby strollers, and many more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.